All right, maybe go. Maybe hanging out in the gazebo. Tweakers really? in the gazebo. 10-4, yeah. tweakers in the gazebo. 10-4. 10-4, tweakers in the gazebo. Roll up your window. They might talk to us. <laughs> they might tweak to us. No, uh, get it. Like tweet. Like talk. <laughs> talking. <laughs> they might tweet like down Trump. I, I just don't understand a lot of stuff with him, though. Like, you know what I mean? As a businessman, yo, he, he hands down, he's he's good. Right. <coughs> but everything else, man. Hold on, wait, wait, time out. But is he really good as a businessman? Let me tell you a secret. I know he done been bankrupt like four or five different times. No, no, not even that. The only reason Donald Trump has any money is because Russian oligarchs bought out his towers to funnel their money, launder their money. They're, they're at, Definitely. Dude, there's no one living in those towers, yet there's no vacant apartments. What the fuck? Like, y'all gotta, like, when you want to talk about conspiracy theories, fuck a conspiracy, bro. I'll just follow the money on that one. That's all you have to do. Bro. Yeah. That's what I tell people. I'm like, y'all know. I think he didn't want to give us his taxes. He's not as bright as a businessman as you think, guys. I promise you. Like, if you really go look back at Donald Trump's history, he's made money by borrowing it and then spending it. Yep. Yeah. Didn't his dad give him a lot of the like, money? Like, check this out. You want to know something crazy? You want to, like, you want me to blow your mind? There's not a bank here in the U.S. that'll loan Donald Trump's family money. Really? Yep. I didn't know that. Do you know, like, in his first year... He got all like, of his money from Deutsche Bank, which I'm, I'm which I'm pretty sure they just got investigated in Germany for funneling money. Or yeah. here. They were named in a suit here, though. Like, it, it, it's so much. Like, in his in his first year, you know, just as far as Secret Service, you know he killed the budget. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? He killed the budget. Oh, there was a, there was a, there's something I posted about that. Cause I was like, I remember him bitching about everybody bitching about how much money Obama spent on playing golf, like three different times or some dumb shit. But they're not thinking about how much money he's spending playing golf and, and going back and forth from his Trump tower in New York to, to, yeah. Washington, to Lago in Florida. Florida. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, he's down in Mar-a-Lago a lot too. It, it, it's too much. Like, you know, here's the thing is, I don't like him because of who he was way before he ever was a politician, right? I don't like him from The Apprentice, actually, because I think he was a horrible person to people on purpose. And the thing was, I know when I know when people are acting, and then I know when people are just a dick. He's just not a good person, and that's just the end of it for me, right? So a lot of people don't understand that, you know, I may actually pat him on the ass for a policy that he makes that I agree with, but I don't like him. I still don't like him. However, I don't have to like you for you to be my president. I don't have to vote for you if I don't want to, but I don't have to like you if you win, right? That's the problem with America. Like, all these people are like, you should support your president. The fuck I should? His ideals completely conflict with my personal values. Yeah. So the fuck I have to support the president? You don't have to support me because I'm pro-choice. I get it. Me, personally, it has to do with women's rights. Like, the way he treats women is absolutely unacceptable. Like, I mean, all the stuff, even the pageants, the Miss USA pageants, yeah. the Miss America pageants, I mean, are, their women are coming out of the woodworks telling, talking about talking sexual about harassment he, and all yeah. kinds of other stuff. And it's yeah. just, so to me, I go, but listen, but listen, I want to be very clear because I know I'm going to get your hate mail later for this. But <laughs> also, I want to be very clear that whether or not I don't like Donald Trump, it doesn't matter. I still would cover. <coughs> I would still cover him the same way, even if I thought he was an okay person before now, because he just, he's a, he's a buffoon. And I feel, I actually feel bad for the country because some of the country genuinely believes that he has their best intentions in mind. Like a lot of poor white America. A lot of people are changing like, their minds. Hear me out though. though. A lot of poor backwood country white America be Definitely. voting for Donald Trump. And I'm like, dude, he's fucking killing the farms with his beef with China. The farmers, a lot of farmers voted for him because he had made promises, you know. That he ain't keeping. And you know, I'll tell you, you and know. now the farmers I, are like, I will not. Like, but has he, but, no, but here, now ask the real question. Has he sowed enough suspicion of socialism and disdain for the Democratic Party mm -hmm. that they're going to become socialist and they're going to steal your health care, even though they're trying to take our health care right now. They're going to steal your health care, even though the Republicans are literally trying to take my health care right now. They're going to steal your health care, Right. So has he, you know, they're going to steal your health care. They're going to open the borders of all the Mexicans in and they're going to be friends with, I don't know, Venezuela. There, I got you there. You're right. I'm just trying to point out some hit points. You know, he, you know, he lost a lot of support with, with that uh, McCain thing. Yes. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah. Yo, you, that's why when people talk yeah. about... I can't just, believe he just said like, the things know, he said about just, McCain. And, like, and, and, I'm like, I'm like when people go, "Oh, I support Trump and I'm a vet," and I'm like, "Okay, that's fine." But I, I do, do you understand but I, that but I do want to tell you that do you understand that probably one of the most, like, literally one of the most veteran-driven people in American 
fucking politics is completely disrespected by that man. Yeah, and, and he's he, dead, and he's still big fights with a dead he man. He did what showed him respect after he was dead. Yeah, the thing like, is, is like McCain's daughter supported Trump. She, you know, but now dude, they, they even you know, cover what he said about her father. They covered like, the name McCain on the USS McCain when Trump was visiting. I know Asia. Like that's how fucking like childish that fool be about it. And that's my problem is if you guys don't know my promise, that's it right there. I, I, I don't want a child in the White House. I don't want somebody that's so childish that we have to cover the name of a ship that's named after a POW war hero and senator to the goddamn United States of America because the president is is triggered by his it's name. His like, first off, if we have a president that's triggered by someone's name, he shouldn't be president. Now, that listen, was the other reason I, I get lost triggered. respect for Trump, too, was after that, because my father was in for Check 25 years. The old GM here, like, the old GM here, two of the old GM here's names trigger me, right? Mm -hmm. I get mad. So I'm probably not fit to be GM here. I'll admit it. Yeah. Until I grow up a little more. <laughs> but I'm not trying to be president or GM. So I could be a child and act like a toddler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but when you take on that responsibility, <laughs> you have to become neutral to certain things. You know, like as a president, you cannot. It's why I don't want to be a journalist. Journalist. I don't want to be an investigative journalist or a journalist. Journalist because I don't want to have to be neutral. I want to be a news commentator so I can just have a fucking opinion. Like, but I owe the public the facts. You're gonna hear me say that a thousand times on the video. Fact. It's true, though. Because facts matter. I don't have to like the facts, and I can tell you that in my opinion. You know what? I think that fact's stupid. I hate it. Facts are facts, but I hate it. Blah, blah, blah. But the reality is, is I don't got the right to make the facts up, though. I got the right to have an opinion on the facts. And sometimes I'll look you dead in your face, and I'm like, your, your opinion's fucking dumb. <laughs> but it is your opinion, and although I think it's fucking dumb, it doesn't mean I respect you any less. It doesn't mean I like you any less. It doesn't mean I like you anymore, for that matter. And it doesn't mean that I'm disrespecting you. It just means I think you're fucking dumb. You can say it to me, too. Like, dude, that is the fucking dumbest shit I've ever heard. Trey, you're dumb. Well, then I'll, and I'll probably argue back. Well, here's the facts of why I'm not dumb. And then if you come back with, well, here's some facts that says you are dumb. You know what we're doing? We're having a debate. And it's healthy. It's healthy to have a debate and an argument. If me and Cam, you don't fight for like six months, then I'm like, eh. Mm. Just because it's healthy. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, no, stop. <laughs> you know, right. One thing about it. Get out of there. Trump is very hypocritical, too. Oh, That's my, my other God, problem yeah. is I, I just like, wish the man did what he stood, stood by and stood by what he did instead of being so. scream about national security. Hold on. What about Jim Carrey? Yet, Remember they said you couldn't elect Jim Carrey because he was too wishy-washy and he didn't stay. He always switched sides of what he was on. So Y'all basically was, elected like a Hollywood dickhead version of, Je of John Kerry, guys. Basically. Like, you say you, you care about national security, such as such, but yet you on Twitter every day. Yeah, talking you, about what what's going on and all the problems. You and, know what dude, I mean? Like, you're, like he's basically like, like the, the world people don't we... Watch it. Like we, 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 like, we air out, like, stupid grievances on Facebook for fun. To, like I did about the dude who said he's going to call the cops on me. <laughs> or did he call the cops on me in but Texas? But he's been about national security. Yeah. You, you see, you, if you worried about national security, then you wouldn't be... Like, if you worry about your... your the, the, like, this, like, we don't air our grievances about each other out on, on air. No. We just fight like a normal couple in our room. Yep. Like, you're supposed to. So... It just cracks me up when people talk about national security and how much they respect national security. I'm like, you don't even respect your own security, fool. You be telling everybody about why you and Juju ain't, is fighting because he's seeing a side bitch. Hey. Ouch, come on.